my favorite pasta recipes. Pasta, al ragu. This time I'm gonna use turkey. It's usually made with beef, but you can use easily turkey or chicken. Let's do this. For this recipe, we need the following ingredients. 200 grams of grounded turkey meat. I'm going to cook only for two people today, so I'm gonna use only 200 grams. Half of onion chopped. One carrot chopped. One small piece of celery chopped. 14 ounces of tomato sauce. This time I'm using linguine. As usual, I use about 80 to 100 grams per person. In this case, I have 200 grams. Optionally, you can add some basil, dry or fresh. Salt and pepper to taste. For the end, we need Parmesan cheese. In your favorite pasta pot, add some oil. I'm using olive oil, but you can use any of your preference. And let it heat up. When the oil is warm, you can add the meat. To brown rather than steam, the pan needs to be hot. Adding oil is optional, but recommended for better browning. Don't do like I do, and use a wooden spoon to make the job easier. Once it gets a bit of color, we can start adding our vegetables. After adding the onion, stir to mix and to brown a bit. Add the carrots. The celery. Some red cooking wine. And we let it reduce for a minute or so until it reaches boiling point. When the wine has reduced a bit, we go ahead and add the tomato sauce. We stir to mix, make sure to mix well. Add about a cup of water and let it boil until the sauce becomes thicker, about 10-15 minutes. In the meantime, let's begin to boil our pasta. In a separate bowl, add water and salt. Optionally, you can add some oil. Let it reach boiling point, add the pasta and follow the instruction on the box. In my case, I will boil it for about 8 minutes to make it al dente. Our pasta is ready. We are done. Let's go ahead and strain it. Our sauce is almost ready. Mine dried up a little, so I will add some of the water from the pasta. At this point, you can adjust it with salt and pepper. Add the basil. Give it a quick stir. I'm gonna try it to see if it has enough salt. And it's missing a little bit. It's ready. And at this point we can add our pasta. Mix everything together. Be careful not to break the pasta. In my case, I will leave it to cook until the sauce thickens up a bit. Check if the pasta is cooked to your liking and we are done. Our delicious pasta is ready, it smells delicious. 
I can't wait to eat it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This way you will receive notifications about my next videos and you also help me to grow this project. Thank you for watching and see you next time.